Kofi Annan was UN Secretary General, he made a statement during Children's Day. He said, do not allow children to suffer the consequences of the carelessness of their parents. Some of us, with every sense of respect and regard, when we were at the morning stage of our lives, we were not even born again. We had not met Jesus. We were still in idol worship, living in sin, living in all kinds of things. I'm not here to condemn you, no, but I'm to show you the urgency of the moment. If you get born again at 40, it will take another five to six years under proper mentorship to understand the ways of God. If you happen to stay in church and you are under a sound pastor, before you begin to learn on prayer, on fasting, on giving, on responsibility, it takes time to learn these things. Why am I teaching you this? Because there are some of us with every sense of respect who are afraid of disciplining our children. For many people we feel and, and with every sense of respect and regard. Have you paid attention to our teenagers at the level of disdain they have for the things of God? You mention God among teenagers and they push you away. All they want is apps, phone, internet, social media. Am I saying it is wrong? No. But I am telling you, if there is no restoration of a structure of godliness and discipline, one generation of neglect is all it takes and will lose everything we are labored for. You see these are young teenagers in church. While a service is going on, someone is even crying. They are there, um, um, what they call that thing? They are, they are now, you know, sending a text. Oh, I am this, I am that, snapping themselves. There has to be a restoration because they are wasting the time. And can I encourage us, by the Spirit of God, let me encourage every parent here. If the only thing you give your children is education and money, you did not bless them. Give them Jesus. Give them morals. Don't just give them money. Give them what made you you. Don't just give them a car and a phone. Don't just send them abroad. Give them the discipline and the value and the traits that made you exceptional. If that's all you give them and you do not give them money, you give them everything. Do not allow the pressure of society to come upon you to say, what are you giving your child? My own child is driving a jeep. Your own child is walking a foot. Their spirits and their minds are the most important components to their success. You can give an irresponsible child. Look at what happened to Solomon. His father labored and gave him something free of charge. Because it was so free, he became so hedonistic. At the end of Solomon's life, he was already a, a depraved man. He wrote songs of Solomon as a man who had fallen. Everything my eyes saw I wanted, he said. At the end of his life, here was his conclusion. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. When Solomon died and his son Rehoboam became king, elders came and met him and said, you are a small boy, but let's talk to you. Your father oppressed us. Can you reduce it a bit? He listened to the elders and went and called his peers. And the peers said, punish them. May God grant grace that every man's child here will become a reason of consolation when you are old. Let me tell you this. Discipline does not kill. Discipline does not kill. For as long as they are under your roof, they must have your God. For as long as they are under your roof, this is not abuse. We need to be careful what society defines as abuse. You cannot be under my roof and not serve my God. Everybody under my roof serves the God that I serve. A young man cannot return back home as a teenager by 1 a.m. in the night. Open the gate and enter and, and he has friends speaking outside. My father is a rich man. Is he responsible? 31st December, I was in Joss. And my younger brother was not feeling too strong. And so I have a brother, an elder brother, a cousin 
he's a consultant gynecologist and so he just quickly went to a pharmacy I was driving myself 31st just to get some injections or so and then to go and treat him and I sat inside the car so that he would go and get it I said if I come out and they know I'm the one they will mob me in this place so let me remain quiet inside the car and I saw I saw some young people I thought they were going for crossover like a crusade they were at least without exaggeration they should not be less than 300 and I saw these people moving around and tears began to come down from my eyes over 90 percent of those people now I'm not here to condemn no but if you see your child in that state you will start crying and I told myself something I said out of these people by the time all the elders who have values and character pass on these are the ones that will be left what kind of discipline will they give their children respectfully speaking let me tell you this this is the mistake of the west today in the 60s and the 70s when the power of god was moving strongly across the west they had mothers who were women of prayer even though they were not so educated they loved god and satan tried to bring those people down when he found out he could not bring them down he gave up on that generation and he came back to grow with their children they made one mistake remember when pharaoh moses advocated the exodus of the nation of israel he said you can go but leave your children behind moses said no way all of us will go together the west today with every sense of respect the little children of yesterday are the presidents of today so they can throw God out of schools, throw God out of everywhere. Because you see, whoever grows with you is the one you will be loyal to. As for me and my house. Someone prophesied, say as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Say it with intention, as for me and my house. Make up your mind that as you return back home by the grace of God, call for a family meeting and tell your children, we are going to be intentional about loving God in this family. We are going to be intentional about our spiritual life. Let it be that I taught you the ways of God. If you make up your mind to ignore and reject God, then let it be for you. Jesus in John 17 said, all that you have given me, I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition.